This video is one in a series of Norfelco sulfuric acid safety information videos. It is very important that you screen the first video, The Professional Approach to Personal Safety, which contains vital information on the nature of the product, safe handling practices, personal safety equipment and procedures, first aid, and what to do if an accident occurs. By tank car, truck, or ship, the most widely used industrial chemical, sulfuric acid, is continuously and safely on its way to industrial operations across the continent. Norfelco sulfuric acid products have been produced and shipped by experienced professionals and the first video in this series, Sulfuric Acid, the Professional Approach to Personal Safety, contains information vital to anyone involved in handling sulfuric acid. It explains the highly reactive and corrosive nature of sulfuric acid. The protective clothing required when handling it, and how to check and wear it effectively. For instance, wearing all cuffs outside of gloves and boots to avoid acid draining into them. There is useful information on the location, maintenance and use of safety showers and eyewash stations. Experienced advice on recognizing personal hazards and what to do if an accident does occur. This information is also available in the Norfelco Sulfuric Acid Technical Guide and in material safety data sheets and at our website www.norfelco.com Additional information can be obtained by contacting a Norfelco customer service representative. The information will be useful in establishing an internal emergency measures program for your company. An important part of this would be posting emergency response phone numbers in all key locations and in training and operating manuals. Norfelco also has printed material on emergency measures preparedness and is committed to meeting the principles and codes of the chemical industry's responsible care initiative. Every operator involved in the unloading of sulfuric acid should be qualified and be fully trained in the safe procedures and personal safety requirements. The following procedures are for the most common unloading method used by industry today. Pressure unloading of trucks. Information on an alternate unloading method, pump unloading of trucks, can be obtained from Norfelco or a qualified contractor. Though requiring additional pumping equipment and some changes to unloading procedures, it may provide an even safer method of unloading the product. When a truckload of sulfuric acid arrives at a customer's plant, its safe unloading becomes a shared responsibility. The driver is a professional, trained in the techniques of safely discharging the acid into storage tanks. The other half of the team is the customer representative, equally knowledgeable, equally professional, in recognizing that sulfuric acid is a highly corrosive chemical that must be handled with great care. This video is designed to reinforce the correct truck unloading procedures for both experienced personnel and those new to the process. Safe unloading of sulfuric acid requires strict adherence to the prescribed procedures in the correct order, even before the truck arrives at the gate. In the case of trucks, Particular importance is attached to coordination between customer representative, the driver, who often carries out the unloading operation, and the acid supplier. Eight, 
Equipment and procedures required for safe unloading, such as safety showers, eye wash stations, alarms, and the supply of clean, dry air, should all be checked prior to a truck's arrival. Spare gaskets and rupture discs should be readily available on site. As soon as the driver has confirmed that he is at the correct location, he establishes contact with his customer counterpart. Together they must verify the product, placards, and volume on the bill of lading, and sign both the bill of lading and the driver release form. The truck's volume must be compared to the storage tank levels to ensure that the storage tank has enough room to accept the complete load. The driver is always faced with different configurations of unloading facilities, so it's important that he is familiarized with all the key unloading and safety equipment. Therefore, before the truck is brought into position, the company representative reviews and identifies the location of all safety and unloading features for the driver. especially safety showers, eye wash stations, discharge hoses, air supply and warning systems, emergency procedures, first aid stations, and any other special instructions. With the assistance of the customer, the truck is spotted into position. The wheels are then chalked on both sides of the wheel. And the motor turned off. The emergency shutoff valve on the front driver's side of the truck will be used in an emergency situation. It is essential that plant personnel are familiarized with the operation of this emergency shutoff valve. Before any unloading procedures can begin, the driver or unloading operator must carry out a number of personal safety procedures. First, they must put on approved personal protective equipment With attention to details such as cuffs outside of gloves and boots, as shown in greater detail in the first video of this series, The Professional Approach to Personal Safety. The driver or other person responsible for unloading does their own check of the operation of safety showers and eye wash stations to make sure they're working correctly and that the warning systems are operating when they're used. Then check the washdown hose. An 1830 placard serves as a reminder that the following steps are crucial for safe unloading of this highly corrosive chemical. Norfelco recommends only the use of approved hoses with crimped fittings. With truck valves in the closed position, the truck's outlet safety cap can be removed and the gasket removed for careful examination. The gasket is then carefully replaced and seated. If the gasket is found to be damaged, it must be replaced with the correct one from a supply on hand. An adapter with a one inch purge valve can now be attached to the truck outlet pipe and secured with an appropriate tie down. This purge valve will be used to flush the hose of acid if unloading is interrupted.
The discharge hose is removed from its storage position and connected to the truck's connector. Any quick release connections are then further secured with an appropriate tie down. Only approved acid discharge hoses containing an inner lining impervious to the acid being handled and having crimped fittings are to be used. The hose and its connectors should be checked for kinks, holes, or other damage. Discharge hoses should be tested periodically at one and a half times operating pressure and tagged. Use the frequency of testing recommended by the manufacturer. Rubber hoses must never be used for handling sulfuric acid. For more detailed information on sulfuric acid hose specifications and testing recommendations, refer to our TechQuip or contact our Norfelco customer service representative. Due to the high specific gravity or weight of sulfuric acid, the discharge hose must be supported from below. Typically, compressed air will be used to push the acid out of the truck. It is essential to establish a route for the acid to flow into the storage tank before any connections are made to the air supply. The top dome of the tank truck contains a hinged fill hole cover, a 42 PSI rupture disc and housing or relief valve, a pressure gauge, spring vent and one inch air inlet valve complete with cap or plug. This valve contains the connection for the compressed air line. Clean, dry air is supplied by a control system consisting of a water oil separator, a shutoff valve, a pressure reduction valve set at 25 to 28 PSI, a pressure gauge calibrated at frequent intervals, a safety relief valve set at the industry standard 30 PSI, and a manual pressure release valve to release pressure once the tank is empty. Some trucks may have their own compressed air supply. Before attaching the airline, the main valve to the storage tank is opened. Then the truck's hydraulic valve on the acid discharge line is opened. Then, very slowly, the truck's manual 3-inch valve is opened, establishing the route to the storage tank. This is the first time to check for any leaks at connections or on the discharge hose. If leaks are found, immediately close both truck acid valves, hydraulic and manual. Acid can then be drained into a container or blown with air towards the customer tank by using the one inch purge valve. Ensure all lines are drained of acid. Deal with spills using standard plant procedures and determine the reason for the leak. Restart the unloading procedure once corrections have been made. If no acid leaks occur, the airline can now be attached to the top fitting of the truck. Open the truck air inlet valve. Then compressed air at 30 PSI maximum is turned on to force the acid out of the truck. The pressure of maximum 30 PSI protects tanks, lines and hoses. With air pressure on, you must check again for leaks. If leaks are found, immediately shut off the air to the truck and close all acid valves. Depressurize the truck by opening the pressure release valve on the plant air supply line. And when the pressure is at zero, disconnect the airline. The purge valve on the acid line adapter could be used to purge the acid back to the customer storage tank or to the truck. The one inch valve could be used to blow acid out of the unloading hose and or line. Ensure all lines are drained of acid. Deal with spills using standard plant procedures and determine the reason for the leak. Restart the unloading procedure 
once corrections have been made. Typically, a full truck will take approximately 60 minutes to be fully unloaded. Whenever acid is being unloaded, a trained operator should always be present accompanied by another person. Or if working alone, a warning system should be in place to alert others in the area of an emergency. When the tank truck is empty, a sound of air can be heard in the discharge hose and the hose will vibrate. Shutdown procedures are just as important for the safety of the operators and the general public. First, shut off the main air supply from the plant and depressurize the entire system through the acid line and customer storage tank. Make sure the air pressure gauges on both the plant air supply and on the top of the truck are at zero. Now you can close the main valve to the acid storage tank. Close the air inlet valve to the truck and then disconnect the air hose very carefully. Now, with the truck depressurized, close the hydraulic acid valve on the truck and then close the three inch manual acid valve. Next, the discharge hose is carefully disconnected and capped. Care must be taken to avoid dripping any residual acid and any spills must be neutralized and cleaned up. The adapter is carefully removed and the acid discharge pipe safety cap replaced and secured. The area is washed down, with the washings collected according to local environmental regulatory requirements. Now, with the truck depressurized, the interior should be checked to ensure the truck is empty. The top fittings are then secured, and the area checked for any loose tools. The airline safety cap can then be replaced and the air hose rewound and secured. Remove the chocks. The customer contact must be informed that the truck is about to leave the property and the customer signs a form confirming receipt of the load. Every day, thousands of tons of sulfuric acid are safely delivered to plants across North America. And professional operators like those you have just seen will confirm that there is no short list of important steps for the unloading of sulfuric acid. Only adherence to every step in the right order ensures safe handling. This is the mark of a truly professional team. In viewing the first video in this series, the professional approach to personal safety, you have seen what to do if you were involved in an acid-related accident or acid spill. Norfelco has an emergency response system in place and 24-hour emergency phone numbers. The appropriate number can be found on the bill of lading, 877-377-2243, 877-377-2243. Regardless of the volume of acid you receive, it is essential that you establish your own internal emergency response plan so that you can respond quickly and correctly to any potential emergency. Plant emergency procedures, all important internal contacts and phone numbers, including your qualified acid spill contractor and Norfelco 24-hour sulfuric acid emergency phone numbers should be posted in key areas. But the key element in any safe handling program will always be well-trained 
and well-equipped operators who know what is important and why. True Professionals. This video is for general information purposes only. Specific advice on handling, safety procedures, and current regulations should be obtained from qualified professionals familiar with your particular operation.